Good evening. Yes, it's Graham Kennedy's Channel 9 show with Bobby Van, Tony Lamont, the Dandinis, Elaine McKenna, the Howard Morrison Quartet, Dorothy Baker, Joff Rosie, the Channel 9 singers and dancers, and special guest star from the USA, Art Linkletter. This is Bert Newton. And now, here's Graham. Hello, and welcome to a special presentation of the TV career of Graham Kennedy. Now, Graham was a paradox. If he had to meet four new people, he'd be petrified. And yet, when those studio lights hit him, he'd do the most outrageous things in front of millions of viewers. Together, we're going to see a selection of Graham at work and play, mostly during the era of those nightly variety programs and mostly items that have not been seen since the night they were watched live by you. Now, in those days, producers used to select highlights from his nightly shows, put them together, and present them nationally. Well, we've done the same thing, and we've called it the best of Graham Kennedy. So, when only the very best will do, here's Graham. <laughs> looking around the studio audience because we have some very attractive people. Um... <laughs> now we continue with our show and I'd like to say... Thank you very much. Howdy doody, grey boy. Howdy doody, Jaffa boy. And howdy doody to you, doody. And a big one. <laughs> you... Ah, stand back. What? Got him, look. <laughs> beauty. What do you think you're doing? Taking a pound out of kitty. <laughs> As I was going... Murder! Ah! What's murder what the Poles are doing in Russia? Murder! <laughs> it's murder what the Poles are doing in Russia. What are the Poles doing in Russia? Holding up telegraph wires. <laughs> All right. Don't stop me! Don't stop me! Don't stop me! I'm going down the Melbourne Town Hall. What are you going down the Town Hall for? I'm going down to feed the mayor. <laughs> this is very important. Mr. Graham Kennedy, Mr. Graham Kennedy, is he here? Yes, Mr. Graham I'm Kennedy. Mr. Graham, Mr. Kennedy. Mr. Graham Kennedy. Yes. What do you want? Graham Kennedy. Yes. I'm... This wire just arrived for you. Sure. <laughs> I'm upset anyway. Yes, you looked a bit funny tonight around the guilds there. What's the matter? Well, I got this telegram from my girlfriend in Queensland. Oh, ah, up at Brisbane. surface. Well, and I'm really? upset. And you, you is it bad late. news? I hope not. It I is hope, bad. I hope, it's I very hope. bad news. Read the telegram. What's it, sir? Not getting any better. Come home at once. Good heavens, and she's up. Oh, that... Oh, that's all right, mate. You've read it wrong. What's it? Not getting any. Better come home at oh, once. Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Come back, <laughs> Money, son, so... <laughs> One of my problems is that you don't care. I mean, oh, Ozzy, of course I care. You don't care at all. Oh, <laughs> Ozzy, you, you know I care. What makes you think I don't care? Well, I sent you that letter, that letter over there. I said I sent it to you, and I said, dear Gray, I feel depressed. Depressed because. Mm, and by the time you, you get, get this, this, I will have shot myself. Oh, is that a no? <laughs> Would you like to see my bust? Your bust? I'll show it to you if you'd really like to see it. I want to see it. Just a moment. I want to see your bust. You're right. Ah! <laughs> there it is! 
Please. Told today that an auctioneer hoped to get between 1,000 and 3,000 pounds for one of his paintings, artist William Dobell said, they want their head read if they pay anything like that for it. It's only worth five pounds. Did you read that in the paper this morning? I'm wondering what you think. Here it is. It's a nude, isn't it? <laughs> Bert? Yeah, what sort? <laughs> you know, that's something I did. I look. <laughs> it's a lady, it's a lady. It's not a lady, it's a man. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> The naughty little boy side of Graham was never far from the surface and never more evident than when the Victorian government, the custodian of our morals, decided to ban a great classical sculpture. Here's how Graham reacted to the news. Yes, the, uh, the issue of David's statue has reared its ugly head again. <laughs> this is very clever material. <laughs> I think my favourite one is this one. I really do. Very clever one. And also, they come in, you know, <laughs> various shapes and sizes. <laughs> Poor old David, what a lot of fuss about something that's been hanging around for 500 years. 500 years. He's quite an old fella, really. Of course, it, uh, it's come up before over the years. Oh, no. This is a, no, it's come up before over the years. One stage, uh, uh, one century, or half a century, uh, they made him wear a, a fig leaf. Well, the fig leaf's dropped off. <laughs> He's still got the figs, I see there. <laughs> Michael, uh, come on. Come on. There he is there. It's very good there. That's it. Now, watch carefully. <laughs> These are all genuine posters. Would you say that we've done our share selling some of those TV magazines? <laughs> Look at that. Look, if you start here, it's almost a little story. Graham's hectic weekend. Graham plays in Rome. <laughs> Graham talks about marriage. <laughs> Graham's health worries. <laughs> Kennedy puzzle. <laughs> TV star ordered to rest. <laughs> TV shock. Graham talks of quitting. What's wrong with Graham? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Angel. Oh, he wouldn't have gone out there. Oh, he's been such a naughty boy lately. Baba! 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 Mama! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, darling. Baba. Sit down, Mummy. Come on. Move the little chairs. Oh. Baba! Move the chairs in. Help Mummy, sweetheart. Please, darling. Please, darling. <laughs> Come on, for Mama Baba. Please, darling, gay gay. Please, darling, gay gay. Come on. Oh. There. Baba. 
Baba. Good Baba. Baba got to eat his breakfast now. Baba. Baba. Look, Baba. Look, that's for you. You eat it all up for Mummy, won't you? You be a good boy. Naughty <laughs> <laughs> Baba. Baba. Now. Baba. Whose little poon is that? Gay gays. <laughs> and whose little ball is that? Gay gays. And whose little porridge is that? Mama's. <laughs> Baba to do that to Mama. A naughty Baba. Baba. Mama Mac. Mama. Mama Mac. Mama Mac. <laughs> Mama Mac. No, 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 no. Be good, Baba, for Mama, eh? <laughs> naughty boy. Baba. Naughty Baba. Baba. Oh, Mama's. <laughs> you naughty boy. Oh, you're a bad fella. <laughs> now stop that at once. Baba, Baba. Mummy, I'll tell Daddy. Daddy? Uh, Daddy, yes. <laughs> Mama, where's Daddy? Why don't we ever see Daddy? He's, <laughs> He's at the meatworks now. Ah, Baba. <laughs> it's meatworks. Baba, listen. Oh, listen. Baba. Baba. Listen to Mummy Gay Gay. Now, what does the man say at Luna Park? Swallowed that, Baba. <laughs> Coming to the tunnel. When Mummy stamps on the kitchen timer! <laughs> oh, good Baba! Good little Baba for Mummy. Oh, Mummy, look what Baba did. Naughty Baba. Now, think of milk, please. Think of milk. Straw, 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 straw. There you are. Straw, straw. You can drink the nice milk and drink it all up for Mama, won't you? That's a good boy. Gay gay. That was a good example of what Graham used to do when he decided not to follow the script. He'd turn it all to his own advantage and, of course, to the advantage of the show. Now, here's a piece that continued to go wrong. Let's have Graham explain it. I said today to uh, our staging crew, I, can, I, you know, please, can we have a door that I can actually, you know, a proper door, not a cardboard one, but something I can really hit with an axe, something I can chop down and make the whole thing look a little more effective. Well, they gave me a wooden door, all right.
fair maiden. You're quite safe. I'm your volunteer fireman. I don't understand. <coughs> There's no fire here. What? Oh, isn't there? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, how stupid of me. You'll have to forgive me. I'm new at this. <laughs> You're quite right, there's no fire. <laughs> Come in. My darling. My sweetheart. <gasps> My husband. My wife. My goodness. My revenge. <laughs> My honor. <laughs> My hat. Without you, I'm nothing. Without you, I'm nowhere. Without you, my life is stormy. And old pal, I've got no doubt. Without you here fighting for me, they're gonna count me out. Without you, all my kicks are gone. Say, without you, man, I can't go on. The moon won't shine. And the day won't dawn. Without who? Without you, I'm zero. Without you, I'm minus. Without you, there is no tomorrow. Without you, cruel world. Goodbye. I've got bitter tears and sorrow. I think I'm gonna cry. Without you, lover, I'm the least. Hey, without you, beauty, I'm the beast. I'm dead. He's gone. I'm gone. Deceased without you. 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 Newton was one of Graham's second bananas, who went on, of course, to become a first banana in his own right. Graham got many laughs at Bert's expense, especially because Bert was a Catholic. And in those days, a Catholic and a Freemason were as diametrically opposed as you could possibly get. Together, Graham and Bert entertained and made millions of viewers laugh out loud in their own living rooms. What do you call him riding a sidal mount? A sidal mount? Yeah. Ladies One. and gentlemen, Bert Newton Two. with a sidal mount. <laughs> isn't that fun? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A sidle mount. A sidle mount. A sidle mount. You've got to give one, two, three. A sidle mount with pike. Right. <laughs> wait on, wait on. What's pike? Pike is a very special thing in riding that you... Well, don't it. do it. All right. <laughs> a sidle mount with, with foot. Without... I right, pardon? A sidle mount with foot. Where does the foot go? <laughs> <laughs> a sidle mount with foot. One, two, three. Round Merton 7... <laughs> Round Merton 707s are a fabulous oh. machine. <laughs> Have you tried Round Merton's... <laughs> I'm sorry, I... I... <laughs> well, I really am sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what? That wasn't very funny. I'm sorry. I, I no, I, no, I'm not joking. I don't <laughs> like to hurt you physically. You're not joking? Well, you have to do it sometimes. You've hurt me physically. Well, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. <laughs> You've hurt me, Bert. Physically well, hurt I me. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to hurt you. It's just that sometimes I don't know what to do. <coughs> I knew running enough. You're not neurotic. You're very, very normal. You've hurt me mentally many times. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Today was the first time. You've hurt me physically. <laughs> <laughs> The very first time. Do you realize that? I'm sorry. I'm Catherine Hepburn. Rather than 707s, a fabulous men's shoes. If you haven't tried Round Merton 707s... <laughs> will you stop it? That's what you've done. Hurt me with the clay. Round Merton 707s... Enough is enough. Uh, will you let me get the message out? Yeah. Our audience just decided... That Round Merton 707s, a fabulous men's shoes. So it's you... I haven't been down the mute. I've been working very hard all day. I've got He's, a few things. You have either been to the City and Overseas Club? Yes. Never been there in my life. You've you've been to the Musicians Club? I've been there after hours. Well, then there's only one place you... I know where you've been. Where have I been? The Freemasons Club. I've... <laughs> That's a lovely thing to say. I'll have a lovely Sunday morning, won't I? Uh -huh. 
You always say those things, and you've got a little way of twisting things. That, that... <laughs> Bring it on, please. Oh, hello there. <laughs> Good evening, ladies I and gentlemen. I haven't finished doing that yet. <laughs> no, Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The reason for being here this evening is to talk about Raoul Merton 707s. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. As I mentioned to you on Friday night, yes. I'm here at Channel 9 for one purpose. Yes, and I said, I'm hanged if I know what that is. My, my one purpose for being here is to do commercials. That's right. Yes. I have to do them to the best of my ability. How can I do it when you're drinking water, when you're over there going, oh, well, feel you all again. Well, I'm practicing my Noel Coward impersonation, which I have to do next Friday night. Okay, right. But do it quietly, all right? Really quietly. Really quietly. Okay. Really yes, quiet. Really quiet. Really quiet. Gentlemen. Have you tried? Hello, Joe. You're nearly in a round of business. I'll tell you, ladies and gentlemen, when all the stars are blue, I'll just be a call. 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 I'll just
what he did there. That's lovely. Do that again. <laughs> well, that's insulting, isn't it? He can't do that one more time. He can only do that twice. Why not? She's only got two gloves. <laughs> How dare you embrace my cousin before me? If I didn't know you wanted to be embraced, oh. <laughs> I am Pivot, a Capulet, and I hate all Montagues and all friends of Montagues. I can have you expelled from Verona. I can have you cast into a dirty, dank, deep, dirty dungeon. I can have you killed! <laughs> The only thing you can't do is act, isn't it? Oh, please, Tibbles. You let me know. You just not listen to me. Answer that. <laughs> I did actually. I thought we might do some wrong together. <laughs> Why does this happen every time? I have a name for scum like you. What is the name? <gasps> you, can't, you can't say that on television. Oh, yes, I can. You can't even whisper that on television. Yes, I can, and I've got another name for you. What is it? I am not. <laughs> My parents were married. <laughs> Days before I was born. Kyushu, <laughs> are you going to defend your honour? I, with every bone in my head. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I told him to grease it. <laughs> All day yesterday I said, don't forget to grease it because. <laughs> Romeo, lend me your sword. Oh, this is gone too. <laughs> Listen, uh. I know what we'll do. We'll fight a different way. Put that down. Uh, we'll fight a different way. <coughs> Dirty words at 20 paces. <laughs> you won't need to do that. I have a ah! spare sword. What have you been doing with a spare sword? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> there to a nunnery. <laughs> so! Oh, really? <laughs> oh, that's a bit unfair. Look at the size of your sword. <laughs> In relation to mine. No, that, I could, that's not a fair, uh, f f fair fight. <laughs> so, you know, yours is a good 18 inches long. <laughs> I'll fight under one condition. Very well, then. What is your condition? Swap swords. Well, ah! <laughs> <laughs> what, what time does that crumb bum husband of yours come? Oh, not for hours and hours. <laughs> He's a little beauty. Oh, oh, my goodness! Heaven. My, my husband, husband. you better hide. Oh, no, that was... Oh, come on, hurry, quick, quick. Well, oh, that's an outcast, Jesus. Well... Oh, my full house. Hey, full house. Oh, look more like three of a kind oh, to me. <laughs> Hello, Jack. Oh, Cover oh, yourself, yeah. a boy. Oh, 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 oh. Here, oh, 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 oh. quick. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, I don't think you might come a see, mate. I'm coming, dear. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, darling, oh, I'm sorry. I was sake. in the kitchen. I'm knocking me nut off out there. Oh, it's oh, nice. When you open the door when I yell, I didn't have me key, love. Oh, I did the best I could. I was oh, you're gardening. No, you're no Ginger Rogers, love. <laughs> Rose. Rose, you filthy beast. <laughs> You've taken up cigar smoking. Well, why not? All I've got to lose is my cigarette cough. Oh, well. <laughs> and that's not my hat. No. How could that oh, be? No, no. <laughs> it's the Iceman. He's a, a, a perfect gentleman. Always takes his hat off when he comes in to deliver the ice. I'm tired, dear. Oh. I'm tired. Oh. Then, uh, oh. No. oh. <laughs> I think we've done a spring, right? Oh, no. <laughs> it's all right, there we are now. <clears throat> Rose, I'm, I've got a feeling you're... you're hiding something from me. Me? 
Hi, yes. something. Oh, what a terrible thing to say to me. And we trust each other so completely. I can't oh, understand. Oh, there, 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 there. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't get upset. Of course I believe you. I trust you. I know my wife. In fact, I want the whole world to know that my wife... <laughs> <laughs> that my wife... Yes. ...is as faithful as the day is long. Yes. <laughs> it's your day, wasn't it? Arnott's Plaza Biscuits and Australian Cheese are really tops. Yes, everyone loves... <laughs> Sorry, Mip, I'll just reverse you a little bit. <laughs> That's better. How'd you like some Australian cheese, Grace? Yes, I'd love some. Would you? Yeah. A whole half pound of it, it was. <laughs> 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 Go on, Miff. I don't know that I can, my love. Can't you? All right. No, it's all right. I can't. We've got a can, definite thing there. <laughs> oh, no, no! <laughs> Hang on. Nearly there. Everyone loves Alice Pump! <laughs> <laughs> that was Miffy Marsh on the revolving set. We've all seen and laughed at Rover the Wonder Dog's antics, especially during the Powell commercials, and especially one eventful night when Rover Boy had had far too much to drink. Well, here's another night when Rover wasn't there, and Graham called for some help from a crew member, Timothy Lynch. I just want you to be Rover Dog for a little while, and, you know, just pretend. You don't have to. Just pretend. Just pretend. So all go right. through the thing, and I'll introduce you just like we always... All right. Thanks, Timothy. <laughs> now, this'll be all right, because he's a good kid, Timothy. You know how he runs out quickly? Yeah. Yes. All right. <laughs> I'll just put this down on the floor. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like you to meet the dog who caused the recent Labrador population explosion. <laughs> the dog who is... whose name... the dog whose name is feared by every tree surgeon in Victoria. <laughs> the dog who is always at his best, even when the heat was on. Yes. <laughs> Gentlemen, Rover the Wonder Dog. Oh. Oh. Just pretend, just pretend. <laughs> yes. Oh. Look how he's enjoying that. He's really. <laughs> he's really loving that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're loving that rover, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. This is called Twisty Train, and you can twist it into all kinds of shapes. It looks like that. You can make the famous cold weather train. That's that one. <laughs> There's the... The famous spirit of progress. <laughs> and then there's that famous, that famous Latin train, Spiritus Erup. <laughs> Spiritus Erectus. <laughs> Commonly known as Puffing Belly. <laughs> now these are good. Beach hats. <laughs> very latest sun hats for this season. Look at them. Girls, these are really for you. <laughs> and they protect you from the sun, because when you've put one on, you look so hideous, you rush inside. <laughs> yes, Graham, well, here I am, and tonight I'm going to be very serious, because I'm going to talk about a serious subject. <laughs> You know, world famous. Oh, Graham, this is really serious tonight. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Diana. If it's really serious, I won't, I won't do anything. Oh no, I love you doing your little bits and pieces. It wouldn't be the seat of baby powder egg without you. <laughs> but you know, dandruff is a very serious problem. Oh yes. How many fatalities do you read about in the paper every day? <laughs> People dying left and right with overloaded dandruff. <laughs> this is my tip-top pop-up toast. It really is a pop-up toast. Do you want to see it pop-up? <laughs> Ask for Colvan potato chips because Colvan's got enjoyment 
in the bag. Gay game one. No, there's there's quite a party down there, I believe me. was Margaret Moray, then age nine, from Vaucluse in Sydney. Generally, when Graham hosted the show, no one knew exactly what was going to happen. But sometimes it was Graham who was taken by surprise, like this occasion when a young boy, Michael Lee, wandered onto the host set from the studio audience. Oh. Is it, what's that? That's, that's my birthday When was your birthday? I'm following on in December. Oh, was it? Can I have it? <laughs> Oh, thank you very much. I'm far on my hands this December. Oh, are you really? And tonight, I'm free. No. I got our feet to away. When, tonight? Yes. Oh, dirty. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do you mean they gave you feet to away? Well, we got special tickets from you to go in the front. Oh, uh. And I didn't allow us to go in the front. We, um, we went back there, see. Yes, I see. <laughs> Definitely a problem. Did you just come up of your own accord, or did someone su suggest that you come up? Well, my mother asked me to come up, so I came up and I... But you see, Mummy wanted me to come up to give, to give that cake to you. Oh, yes. And she asked me to make conversation, so I am. Do you know what a liqueur is? No, Graham. Well, it's it's liquor. It's mm. alcohol. Uh, Does anyone? Do you? Yes. How old are you? Nine and no. a half. Have you ever had a glass of wine? No. A sip of Dad's beer? No. Does Dad have a beer? No. <laughs> it's Mum that hit today. Do you know no. anyone that drinks? Have you seen anyone yes. drink? Yes. Who? My, my auntie and uncle. Oh. <laughs> Is this frowned upon? I mean... Your pardon? Do, how does Mum and Dad feel about auntie and uncle getting on it? Um, Mummy said that she doesn't like... She doesn't like auntie oh. Margaret. Oh. <laughs> Drink it, uh, only because she has a sip or two. Yes, I understand. Oh. <laughs> Gillian, does your uh, does your uh, father take your mother out a lot? Oh, hardly ever. <laughs> does she complain about that? Yeah, all the time. What does she say? Oh, she, oh, she doesn't really say it to him because he gets too mad if she says anything to him. But she just tells it to us and. Oh. Sort of hard, cos we want to go out too, but she doesn't want us. How old do you think I am? 36. <laughs> You're not looking there. Little beast. <laughs> 34. Does, th does 34 seem very old? No, you're a nice-looking man. Do you think I'm nice-looking? Yes. Do you think it's important to marry good-looking people, Debbie, or, or do you, is love more important than looks? Love is more important, Graham. <laughs> oh, she's going to be a case. <laughs> How do you think it would be being funny on television night after night? I think it would be a bit of a drag. Bit of a drag. <laughs> bit of a drag. <laughs> well, listen, I'll run through some things, and you tell me uh, if any of these vocation suit you. Oh, 
Would you like to swing on a star? Carry moonbeams home in a jar And be better off than you are Or would you rather be a mule? A mule is an animal with long funny ears He kicks up at anything he hears That's true. His back is crony, but his brain is weak He's just plain stupid with a stubborn streak And by the way, if you hate to go to school It's an old showbiz adage Never work with children or animals You're going to be in our show later on We've got a lot of chimps on Channel 9 because... <laughs> Because uh, <laughs> at seven o'clock, I've got Odorono on and Mum Butch. Because at 7 o'clock, we have the... <laughs> Me, Tarzan, you, Jane. <laughs> No, come on, let's go on, let's go. This is a miniature Australian terrier with a little bit of foxy. <laughs> now, don't you do what you did at rehearsal. <laughs> <laughs> Look, a Scotty. Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> the grass is a bit difficult to photograph because he's so... Uh, I want to talk to you about your dog. I don't think it's 100% with you. Gus! Gus! I'll get him. Come on, boy! Come on, fella! Come on, Gus! <whistles> Gus! Oh, oh, no, he's supposed to run back. Come on, Gus! <laughs> Gus! Come on, boy! Come on, up on the couch. Look, look, marvellous. Come on, up, up, up. Ah. Oh. Big? Big? No, oh, well, you can have it anyway. <laughs> That's not your best angle, love. Come on. Come on, look. Look in. Come on, to your uncle. That's it. <laughs> That's the end. I don't know, George. I'm just in trouble with these glasses. I can't seem to see too well. They well, might they... be a bit misty, Joyce. Oh, I don't know. Do you want to just try them? No. Why don't you try holding the paper closer? No, dear, nothing seems to help. The printing's all fuzzy. Yes. Show them to me, Joyce. Perhaps they need a bit of a wipe over, love. Oh, there we are. Let me have a look. I'll pour you a cup of tea. A bit of a smudge on them, is there? Oh, just a moment, Joyce. <laughs> well, I think I know what's the matter with them, love. Ah, oh, what is it, dear? they got no lenses in <laughs> In the early days, the sketch, The Wilson, starring Graham and Rosie Sturgis, was often videotaped after the station went off the air about midnight. Yes, in those days, the station actually went to sleep for a few hours. Because we only had a couple of videotape machines, we had to wait till the station closed so that we could use one. Many people have said that The Wilsons could easily have become Australia's first successful sitcom. Once again, the Wilsons gave Graham the ideal opportunity to send up Rosie Sturgis. Well, that's the last of the pink pages. <laughs> What's for breakfast, Joyce? A uh, special drink this morning, love. I made you a nice pancake. Pancake? Mm. I like pancake. <laughs> it's, the... it's 
didn't set very well, do you? What's this stuff, Joyce? Oh, instant porridge, dear. I made it with lots of milk this time. You complained last time. You said you found little white lumps in it. I did find little white lumps in it last time, Joyce. And do you know what the little white lumps were? Me teeth. <laughs> did you hear the story about the Indian Rajah and the curry? No, I didn't. Well, I can't tell you. <laughs> it's too hot. <laughs> <laughs> Carry. <laughs> that was a joke, Joyce. How about giving me some curry? Oh, okay, <laughs> Joyce. Oh, Joyce, I thought you'd never ask. Oh, Joyce, I'll be in that. Lock the door. And we'll have a love-in. <laughs> a love-in that'll keep you oh, how warm and hot all oh, during the winter. George, I've got a better idea. What's that? What's that, George? Let's buy a ton of briquettes. <laughs> he, he was having a wedding anniversary last month, and he asked me uh, what he should get for his missus. So I said, uh, why don't you take the best offer? <laughs> <laughs> Funny sort of people. Biffy. Oh, they are a race of... Excuse me, George. They are a race of pie. Hit me. It's romantic anywhere, Joyce. Oh, George. Come on, Joyce. Come on, let me fly you to the moon. Imagine the things we could do up there with nobody to watch us. George. Anything you could do could be done in the middle of Burke Street. <laughs> you realise one single germ can have... Listen, mm -hmm. one single germ can have four billion babies. Think how many are married one could. You might laugh at the obvious ones. You have sniggers behind you. I've got me jam jar. You'll have to forgive it for being on a place. If a bloke can't have a sensible conversation with you without you getting hysterical. Listen. I, I was talking to Mervyn Pivot and he told me that a sheila in his factory where he works, mm -hmm. Tubex Extrusion. <laughs> gonna laugh, I'm not gonna tell you. What was the most romantic experience you ever had? Or exciting one? <laughs> <laughs> she moves regularly. <laughs> See what I said, George? <laughs> Glory, you know. They sell stuff for clearing sinks and drains. Now, I was reading about some new stuff called Rint. R-I-N-T. Rint. Ah, oh, well, I'd have to get a jar. <laughs> oh, no, Joyce, you can't get Rint in glass. Get rent in tin. <laughs> that was a joke, Joyce. <laughs> Just checking to see that the hand mic was on. Well, don't do it when I'm doing no, it. No, I won't. I'm terrible. I didn't know you were doing it. I'm all <laughs> And when I've finished doing it, you can do it. OK, Ollie. <laughs> it's another fun that you've got me into. As I was saying, folks, 
You can also win cosmetics to the value of $200. Testing, 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 testing. <laughs> One more and I'll give you a bang. <laughs> right. As I was saying, folks, you could get cosmetics to the value of $200. Aren't you going to do it? No, I was looking forward to that. <laughs> you can get... <laughs> Cosmetics to the value of two hundred dollars from the beautiful world of Mary Kay. Turning. It's. it's... <laughs> <laughs> and also, no, that's how it's... <laughs> Something unique to Australian Tonight shows is the wheel. This gave Graham the ideal opportunity to interact with members of the public and with any one of the beautiful barrel girls. Or, as we've just seen, a pretty famous barrel boy. When, when I say pretty famous, I mean pretty famous, not pretty barrel boy. Graham, our first contestant for this evening. Yes, I Andy. think you You seem a little strange. I beg your pardon? Your eyes are protruding once again. This hasn't happened for a couple of years. The eyes are popping out? Yes, oh, look, back, back to the south. Back to the hospital. Have a look. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, or it might be the goiter. No, you'll be all right. <laughs> you sure? How's that? Fine. Fine. <laughs> Graham, our first contestant is from... <laughs> from... <laughs> what? Oh, very good, are you? Oh, Mr. Hong. Mr. Hong. Oh, you recall Mr. Hong, don't you? From oh. radio days. Mr. Yeah. Hong. Oh. Mr. Hong has delicatessens, don't you? Well, I have our delicate children. That's right. <laughs> do you have just one shop or do you have a chain? Oh, no, I have a chain. I've, we got the one with a push button now. Oh. <laughs> I'm not as dim as I seem. <laughs> you are very, very overweight. You are very, very Rude, how dare you. Little man. <laughs> I've never been so insulted in my life. I have never been so insulted in all my life. You continually talk about my overweight. Overweight, overweight, overweight. Don't say it. Don't you touch Don't me. Don't say it. Be very careful. Just because you're stuck. Forget, get the executive producer. <laughs> Executive pretty immediately. Go on. Oh, I, I will. <laughs> Over all the time. Overweight. There are, there are fatter people here. You wanted to see yes. me, Mr. New. I, uh, <laughs> having a little trouble with a little shrimp with whom I work. You mean the great Graham Kennedy, one of the greatest acts of all time? <laughs> Isn't he a sensation? Channel Two should be so lucky to have him in, in a series. Listen, uh, m m Mr. Executive Producer, the way in which he works with wonderful me, little fellow. One. I'm, I'm sick. He talks about my my being over. Now have a look at me. I am just so thrilled to have him in my show. But what I'm trying to say to you is, I work with. I, I, I write a lot of stuff. You know, I, I work with him. Well, I tell you but what. He keeps talking about the. He will get for figures for any network that that little boy wants to go to. If he wants to join the aeroplane people, that's okay with me. <laughs> Mr. Executive Producer, you're here to see me, not do commercials for him. Will you please do something about it for me? Very well, Mr. I'm sick Newton. and tired of the way. I'll have a word a moment with the little blonde headed fellow with the great very star. Much. Thank I'll you. I'll see you soon. Right. Fatso. <laughs> That's a new one, isn't it? I'll say it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mrs. W. Templeton of one. Let's have that again. Um, I will, will... <laughs> oh, honey, really? <laughs> See, you put me off, Graham. Uh, it's I exciting, will... <laughs> though, isn't it? <laughs> A little bit. I... <laughs> and how I'm terrified. Do you like what I've got on? Yes, it is. Very nice. What is it? Butch. This <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Trithowan, who comes from Bexley in New South Wales. Is it Trithowan? That's right. Oh, I got it right. Welcome to IMT. Thank you very much, Graham. Where are you staying while you're there? At Ma uh, Menzies. They're looking after you? Very much, thank you. What's that? That's a lot to ticket for you and I. Oh, really? I called it the King and I. Oh, clever really? girl. Really? Oh, that is suitable. Yeah, How much do I have to... Nothing. Oh, it's a present. Yeah, that's for drawing me out of the barrel. Oh, aren't you a really? sweetheart? And that's the number. Could yeah. I just check? Certainly. <laughs> 78082. The new yeah. Oh, that's... Oh, I don't know that one. That's what it's in there. What's the first prize? $40,000. $40,000? Yeah, see, we won't see daylight for a week. Oh, we can win that. <laughs> How do you mean we won't see daylight for a week? What? Well, you know what you're talking about. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, well, we'll eat like rabbits, too. <laughs> How long have you been in Australia? Uh, nearly exactly 10 years. 
Is Hungary a good... I've never been there. Uh, you can go over there, might maybe not come back. <laughs> what, why is that? Uh, it's under the communist regime, and I was in more border police. Sometimes we get in somebody and catch him. <laughs> I got quite a fright. I may, uh, <laughs> I may have to leave the room. I'm not sure. Oh, and the question's an easy one too. In the early part of the century, the Titanic sank with a loss of 340 passengers. There were 97 survivors. Name them. Which two league sides play off in the grand final? My side and Richmond. <laughs> this is uh, Wilson. Do you know anything about Winnie the Pooh? Oh, good heavens. Yes, I think about it. <laughs> it's a famous book. I read it. Did you read it? When I was a baby, I think. Do you know who wrote it? No. No? Well, that's good, because I'm not going to ask you that. <laughs> Here's Bert, Mr. Fellows, to say a quick hello. Thanks very much. Hello, Mr. Fellows. How do you do, Bert? Fine, thanks. Congratulations, <laughs> Mr. Fellows. The value of this prize is $1,500. Oh, now, do you want that? I don't know. <laughs> I can change something. You don't want a boat? No. no. When I came here, you don't believe or not, I think. I can win a refrigerator, vesting house, or anything like that. Mm. And I thought, oh, what happened if I win a billboard? I have to buy a new car, a new trailer, a boat house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just think at about 7 o'clock when I'm shaving, you know, I said, oh, what happened if I win a boat? I have to be buy a property. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I think it's a pretty rotten prize myself. <laughs> This, oh, this it contains money, I think. Oh, it might be a bit. Uh, <laughs> 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 Thank you for having me. That's right. And listen, no, we won't do that uh, because it's a bit embarrassing. Go on. No, no, no. A barrel girl. No, the barrel girl no. used to. A barrel boy is different. And <laughs> Good night. No, I will not. <laughs> Take a punch. You gotta roll your eyes and make a funny face. Then do a take and hold. This must be the place if you wanna be the tough banana. You gotta start from the bottom up. Being a chum is fun. That is why I'm one. I've heard that too. Chum. Always smiling, <laughs> always great. 
Show me at work and show me at play. Laugh away your worries. Don't be sad or glum. And everyone will know that you're a chump, chump, chump. There's no people like show people to They told you you would not go far. So don't you open and there you are. Stay on your dressing room, they've hung a star. Let's, Let's go on with the show. It's been an honour for me to share just a small selection of Graham Kennedy's incredible television career with you tonight. Nowadays, we're fortunate, because when such a unique talent as Graham leaves us, we can, by courtesy of film and videotape, relive the memories that earned him the title The King of Television. Thank you and good night. of the best of Graham Kennedy is now available on DVD at all major retailers. Just in time for Christmas.